derivatives of vectors. So we are given an example. If r, which is our position vector, is given as tq plus 2t i plus exponential tj plus 5 sin tk. And we have to find the, the r dt and the 2 r dt squared at t equals to 0, which is our type. So to do this, the position factor is given as t cubed plus 2t high plus exponential t j plus 5 sine t k. So now, we differentiate our position factor with respect to time, which is t. So we have dr dt. When we differentiate this guy, the components of i unit factor we have t squared plus 2 times i. When we differentiate the exponential, we have exponential t. It doesn't change. When we differentiate the components of the k factor, we have 5 cos t k factors. So, we have to evaluate the r dt at t equals 0. So, at t equals 0, we have the r dt to be equals so we plug in 0 in place of t. We have 3 into 0 squared plus 2 bracket i plus we replace 0 with t. So we have exponential 0 times j plus 5 cos 0. In which we have 2i plus when we take the exponential of 0 we have 1. So we have j plus Cos 0 is simply 1, so we have 5k. So, therefore, our dr dt is simply 2i plus j plus 5k, which can also be written as 2,1,5. So, the next thing is to evaluate the 2r dt square. So, we have the 2r dt square. The next thing to do is we differentiate our vector, which is the r dt, with respect to t to obtain the 2 r dt squared, which is our acceleration. So we take the derivative of the r dt. The r dt is this, so we have derivative of it as this. We have uh, 3 t squared plus 2 i plus exponential t j plus 5 cos t k so now we differentiate components wisely for the component of i we have 6 t i when we differentiate the component of j we have exponential t it doesn't change so when we differentiate 5 cos t we are going to obtain minus 5 sin t. So, we evaluate at t equals 0. At t equals 0, we have the 2 r dt squared to be equals to 6 to 0 i plus exponential 0. So, this is j factor, this is k. j plus minus 5 sin 0. If we simplify further, we have 0 i plus j minus 0 k, which can be written as 0, 0, 0,1, 0. So therefore, the 2 of the t squared equals this. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.